Zoho is an all-in-one business suite that offers productivity, marketing, finance, and other business solutions to small, medium, and large businesses. And one of their many impressive tools is their secure and free business email services, which is ideal for small teams looking to set up and manage professional business emails completely for free. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all well. Now in this Zoho Mail tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get started and make the most of this free business email service by Zoho. Okay, so before I get you up and running with Zoho Mail, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's jump over to my computer and get started with this Zoho Mail tutorial. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into Zoho Mail. Now, if you don't already have an account, what you need to do is head over to zoho.com forward slash mail, or feel free to click the link below this video in our description, and that will take you here. Now, it's important to note that that link in our description is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to sign up with that link, and then you upgrade to a paid plan in the future, we will get a small commission, and this just helps support our channel, so thank you in advance. Now, when getting started with Zoho Mail, you have the option to create a business account or a personal account. So basically with a business account, you can use your own domain name to create professional business emails. However, with personal use, you will have a branded Zoho Mail that will look like this. Now, it's important to note that both the Zoho business email and the Zoho personal email does have the same user interface on desktop and on mobile. So what we're gonna to do today is show you how to get started and make the most of your Zoho Mail. So first things first, what we need to do is navigate up here and if you don't already have an account, go ahead and access your Zoho Mail and sign up for free. Now, if the reason that you're here is because you wanna set up your business emails for your organization with Zoho Mail completely for free, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above, which will guide you through the process of initially setting up your business emails with Zoho. However, if you just wanna get started with your own free personal email through Zoho Mail, then Zoho will take you through a few simple steps to creating your account and we'll meet you inside Zoho Mail. So go ahead and sign up to Zoho Mail for either business or personal use and we'll meet you inside your Zoho inbox. Okay, so here we are within our Zoho Mail inbox. Now, before we go ahead and dive into all the different tools and elements that Zoho Mail has to offer, as well as Zoho's complimentary apps, features, and integrations, it's important to note that if you decided to set up your business emails for free with Zoho Mail, you have access to up to five professional email accounts each account has five gigabytes of storage and a attachment upload limit of 25 megabytes. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's get you up and running with Zoho Mail. Now, first on the right hand side, you can see some important elements that I want to cover. First, we have notifications. Then over here, we have my profile where you can customize your profile. Next to that, we have all Zoho apps. If we click here, you will notice that you can search for other Zoho applications and integrate those applications with your Zoho Mail. Now the great thing about Zoho is it's an all-in-one business suite, a integrated ecosystem of apps and tools for business use. So for example, you could integrate the free Zoho CRM with your Zoho Mail. You can also engage in email campaigns by connecting your Zoho campaigns. And again, this allows you to engage in email marketing for free. And then you have all these other tools that you can integrate with your Zoho Mail, depending on what tools you use in your business or in your personal life. 
basically Zoho allows you to integrate all the Zoho apps that you use into one convenient place for easy access and streamlining different activities. So what we're going to do is navigate back up here and close Zoho apps. Then below Zoho apps we have settings, again this is where you can change your settings. Below this we have attachment viewer. Now for example if I click settings what that's going to do is open up a tab on the left hand side next to mail and again if I navigate across and let's say I click attachment viewer and again like you can see we have another tab open up here so what you can do is actually just simply scroll through each of these tabs by simply clicking on each of the tabs and this is a great feature for quickly accessing different areas of your Zoho mail. So what I'm going to do is exit out of attachments because we don't have any attachments. And then under settings, again, like I mentioned, you can change any of this information if you like. I recommend going through your account information and making sure that your account is secure. So what I'm going to do is navigate up here and exit out of settings. Now if I navigate across and under attachment viewer, we have toggle e-widget. Now if I click here, this allows us to search for app integrations, extensions that we can add to our right hand sidebar. So for example, we have Zoho Meeting and Zoho CRM. These two tools are pinned. So if I exit out of that by clicking toggle e-widget again, and then if I scroll down, you can see we have Zoho Desk, we have the Zoho CRM, and then Zoho Meeting down here. And this widget feature essentially allows us to integrate our favorite Zoho apps and add them as extensions on this right hand sidebar. Then if we come down the right hand side, we also have add sticky note. Now if I click here, what I can do is basically move this around and quickly add notes. For example, if a client sent me an email and there's some important notes I want to quickly take down just before I call them, then what I can do is create a sticky note, add those notes, so that when I call that client I can bring up those notes. However, these notes are not important for me to save, they're just sticky notes. And once you're done with those notes, what I could do is click remove sticky. And then down here is where I can go ahead and add another sticky note. Then below this, we have product updates. We can see product updates. We have reminders. If I click here, I can see reminders that I've created. For example, on the left hand side, which we're going to show you shortly, we have tasks and calendar. If I create a task or a specific event within my calendar, you can see if you have any reminders today or upcoming. So I'll exit out of reminders. Then below reminders, we have turn on night mode and then send feedback. Now let's jump into the important stuff here on the left hand side. Okay, so first we have mail. Below that we have calendar, tasks, notes, contacts, and bookmarks. So let's quickly go through each of these sections. First, you can see that we have mail selected. What we can do here is go ahead and compose a new mail. Over here we have our inbox, so we can see our inbox. These are emails that are coming into us, people are sending to our email address. All I need to do is click on the email to open that email on the right hand side. Now if I close this email and then navigate up to new mail and click here, I can go ahead and compose a new email. I can send that email now or I can schedule and send that email later on. Down here we have from, which is my business email address. Then below that we have to, this is the recipient. You want to add them in here. And then you can add additional emails that you also want to include in this email. That is under CC. Then under CC we have subject. This is where you want to create a subject about this email that you're sending. And under subject is where we can compose our new email. Above this section we have different formatting options available for us to compose our new email. The formatting options are very similar to Gmail or Outlook if you've used those email services in the past. 
Now, what you can do, which is really cool with Zoho Mail, is you can have multiple emails that you're composing at one time. So, for example, if I navigate up here and click New Email, you can see that I now have three tabs. I have my Mail tab, if I click here, this is my inbox. Then I have two emails over here. If I click on this tab, you can see I have one email here that I could be composing. And then if I click here, we have a, another email that I could be creating. So basically you can be working on multiple emails at the same time. Now, if I exit out of this and exit out of this email, you can see that we're now back to the one tab, our inbox. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, you can see that we have home, unread emails. We can also create a group and we can create folders. So down here, we currently have a bunch of default folders that you can simply arrange your emails or see the emails. For example, under sent, you can see all your sent emails. Under draft, you can see all your draft emails. You can also navigate up here and create additional folders. For example, you could create folders for all your different clients. And then below folders, we have tags. Again, you can go ahead and create additional tags if you like. Then below tags, we have views. And this is where you can view unread, all messages, flagged and all archived mail. And you can also rearrange these sections if you like. For example, if I drag folders by clicking and dragging, I can place folders below streams, above streams, or right down the bottom below views if I like. Now, if I navigate up to new mail and click the drop down next to new mail, you can see that I can quickly go ahead and create a new note, task, event, contact, or bookmark. These are the same options we have on the left hand side. And now what we wanna do is break down each of these features within your Zoho mail. First off, what we're going to do is click on calendar and under calendar, this is where you can create and manage your events. For example, I can navigate up to new event and click here. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and filled in the information about this new event. Now you can see that this is a meeting. It repeats every week on a Monday at 1 p.m. through to 1.30 p.m. You can see I've selected a event color and then the location, description, and then if we navigate up to associate, you can see that we can associate this event with a task or notes. We can also add attendees if we like and they will be notified of this meeting. Then when you're ready to create your meeting, scroll down and click save. And just like that, you can see our new event, our new meeting. Now you can also click on any of these areas. For example, if I click Monday at six and I can quickly create a new event for that particular time slot by filling in these basic details. I can also come down to more details to add additional details before I click create, or I can click create and edit the details later on. And we can also navigate over to the left hand side and under calendars, we can add additional calendars. This could be my personal calendar. I can go ahead and create a workspace calendar for everyone in my office, or I could create a specific calendar for all the birthdays within our organization. This is completely up to you. Okay, so we've covered the calendar. What we wanna do now is click on tasks. And this is where you can simply go ahead and create a new task by clicking new task. And tasks could be any activities that you do on a day to day basis. It could be a reminder about a specific activity that you need to do. It could even be a project that you need to complete at a specific time. And you can also come down and add subtasks. So you can create a task and then create a subtask and add all this information down here. And basically all the tasks that you create will show up under your calendar. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click cancel and navigate under views on the left hand side under new task. This is where you can manage and view all your different tasks within different periods or based on different actions, for example, created by me or assigned to me. However, this is where you're gonna find all your tasks. 
Then below tasks, we have notes. If we click on notes, this is basically where you can go ahead and quickly create a note by simply clicking new note. And this is where you can add and manage your notes. So go ahead and create your notes and then simply come down and click add. We have formatting options down here too. So what we're gonna do is exit out of this and down here is where you can see all your notes. You can also view your notes under these different categories. So basically Zoho Mail has created an all-in-one workspace, not only for sending and receiving emails, but also a productive space, a place that you can create events, manage your calendar, create tasks, notes, and integrate with other important Zoho apps. Okay, so under notes, we have contacts. If we click here, this is basically where you can go ahead and create new contacts. We can also come down and import contacts if we like. And this is a great place to manage all your contacts in one place. You can also connect this with your Zoho CRM so that your contacts on both your Zoho Mail and Zoho CRM are synced together. And then if we navigate up to views and under views, you can see that we can create additional categories. For example, at the moment we have personal. This is where we could add our personal contacts, the contacts that are our friends or family. Then we can also add another category. This could be our business clients and we can add our clients emails in that category. So as you can see, it's very simple and straightforward. Then below contacts, we have bookmarks. If we click here, this is where you can simply go ahead and add bookmarks that you want to save. Now, this is a really cool feature because basically what you can do is click new bookmark and then simply add those bookmarks that you tend to use. For example, for me, what I would do is create bookmarks for my educational videos and blog content that I use to send to my clients. So I can quickly navigate over here, copy those bookmarks and send it directly to my clients. So go ahead and add your favorite and useful URLs that you want to bookmark within your Zoho mail. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this. And the last area that I wanna cover is down below on the left-hand corner. Basically, we can click on chats, and this is a chat feature that we can use to engage with our team. We can also select channels, and this is where you can create or join specific channels that you can engage on. So for example, with your organization, you could have a sales channel, a HR channel, a projects channel, website developer channel, whatever channel that you want to use to engage with your different teams. Then next to channels, we have contacts. And this is where you can simply search for specific contacts that you want to chat with. So for example, under suggestions, we have our one team member that we added when we initially set up our business emails with Zoho Mail. What I can do is click on this user, this team member, and then I can go ahead and start chatting with that individual. This is a great place to further enhance your collaboration and communication. However, that is everything that I wanted to discuss today to show you how to get started and make the most of Zoho Mail. Now, remember Zoho Mail is a great alternative to using other email services like Outlook or Google Workspace. Personally, I believe the entire Zoho business suite is a great option for small businesses or individuals that want to make use of other complementary applications that Zoho has to offer. Most of these applications have a free plan, which are sufficient for small teams, small businesses, freelancers, or individuals just getting started in business. So go ahead, give Zoho Mail a try and see if Zoho Mail is a good option for you. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's complete Zoho Mail tutorial for beginners to help you get up and running with Zoho Mail. Now if you have any questions about Zoho Mail, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you like this video, then make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And that way I'll see you next time. Take care guys.